Hey everyone, Kevin with KW's Disc Golf. Again, um, we're going to probably have a few videos this week. Um, I got a few orders coming in. Actually, this video I'm recording now, it's uh, Thursday, but you won't get to see this until probably middle of next week because I'm not allowed to show the new stuff on video until then. So, you'll be watching this a week after I made it. But Gotta make it now anyway, so we can get listing. Um, so we've got MVP order. Um, it's a real light refresh disc-wise since um, we just got an MVP order a couple weeks ago, I think. Um, but this will have the new, a um, couple new discs: the Orbital and uh, uh, wow, I don't know why I can't think right now. But and it, whatever you'll see. And uh, also going to have. MVP for bags and straps. So looks like this is the box with the straps and bags. Um, here's MVP's quad straps that they're uh, they came out with. So let's see if we can give these a uh, looking at carabiners there, adjustable straps. It's like uh, good padding on the back. Looks like a, just a basic uh, quad strap, really. Um, all four straps, adjustable. Good looking strap. Um, oh yeah, those will be in the store by next week. Oh, I should mention too that uh, unfortunately the store, these all, all this stuff launches on the 31st. And unfortunately we're going to be closed um, for from the 31st until the following week or following weekend, we'll, we'll be closed for a week, so these will not be shipping. I'll have them listed in the store, but these will not be shipping until, I think, like August 8th or something like that. So I really hate to miss out on a big launch like this, but uh, I really don't have a choice. So, oh well, everybody else will be in a punch, but these will be, you can still, you'll still be able to buy them um, from my store but it won't be shipping for probably a week. So I got a bunch of straps if you just want to add straps to your bag. Um, plus I think I got enough straps to cover the bag, these bags that take straps. So take a look here. This is a smaller bag. Of course, I have not been doing my homework much because I was on vacation for a while. I'm just trying to get all this stuff ordered. Um, I should pull it up on my phone so that uh, I'll be able to actually tell you what this bag is. Thumbs down for me not being prepared. Okay. We've got... This looks like the Beaker. Yeah, this is the Beaker competition bag. Um, they claim 12 to 15 discs. Um, which includes one to two in the front putter pocket. Um, they don't say what material, but I think it's the, I think they say 600D. Um, feels like good quality. Comes with a good shoulder strap. Let me sit up here so I can actually, the standard shoulder strap that it comes with. And, uh, Looks like we got a large drink holder on the side here that uh, is adjustable size. Um, side pocket, double pocket there. Front putter pocket, which is very padded in the front and rigid, so it's always going to stick out. Probably easy to put stuff in there. Um, side pocket right here. Inside, we have couple dividers come with it um, so you can divide it's like this way you're gonna be yep, dividing this way there we go like that there's velcro on the sides if I could actually put them in correctly then you'd see but whatever I'm just trying to breeze through this um, so yeah there's the uh, beaker bag um, they say 
10 to or 12 to 15. Nice looking bag. The quality looks great. The bottom's got giant feet on it. So that's definitely going to help uh, with stability and wear on the bag. Um, the drink cooler or the drink uh, holder is insulated. It's really feels like a good quality bag. Side, well, I'll miss the side zipper here for more inside storage here, along with the uh, outside storage. And this bag will take quad straps. It's got the hookups on bottom and top for quads, so that'll definitely uh, fit. So yeah, that's a quick uh, little look at the beaker. Alright, let's set that over here. I think I got a few beaker colors, or a couple anyway. I didn't order a bunch of everything, I just got a couple. There's a, the red one. So I got red and blue of the beaker. There might be more in the other box when we get there. Alright, here's uh, the big bag. This is the nucleus. Yep, this is the nucleus bag. Alright. Same rigid, uh, kind of, or kind of rigid front uh, putter pocket, so they'll stay in there. Um, let's see, just taking a look on the outside. We've got insulated uh, drink holder, a uh, pouch. Velcro closed pouch, side pocket. Um, let's see here. This side pocket. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, normal side pocket there. Zippers roll really nice and easy. Other side, got another insulated drink holder, another kind of pouch style with a Velcro top and another pocket there with a, it's like inside and right, inside this inside pocket whatever you have a looks like a valuables little pouch that's a zipper close so that's nice all right front has a velcro cover on it and the zippers open so easy that you can just do that and open them. Comes with, oh, no, that's a normal, okay, that's a normal shoulder strap, but that's kind of different than what I'm used to. That's a normal shoulder strap, but it's got two straps on each side that will go in these hooks here. So that's cool. Adjustable strap it comes with. Um, bottom's rigid. Um, comes with a couple dividers that can go this way, like so. Um, the back flap, the Velcro can stick to. Looks like that piece of Velcro, or actually, you know, that Velcro there is going to stick to that back there to keep your flap open I believe looks like like so so that stays back there nice looking bag I, I like it um, of course rigid kind of rigid bottom different material down here and giant feet again so that should definitely help with wear it feels like the same material as the first bag I think um, so yeah there's the nucleus bag and Maybe a couple more of those colors coming too. Ugh. Don't mind me just trying to get comfortable here. Alright, get rid of this giant box. Ugh. And got the mini box. I got a bunch of minis, including a bunch of the Oreo double stuff. These are coming out soon. You making squeaky noises? My daughter's making squeaky noises. There's the double stuff Oreo. It's got a holographic kind of double stamp to it. Real cool mini. Got a bunch of those, so 
shouldn't have any risk of running out of those for a little while anyway. And then uh, just regular um, mini disc refresh, you know, nano minis, nano minis, icons, it's kind of like a teal with pink, yellow, yellow, nice, more icons, there's a nice sparkle one, those always go fast, another sparkle one. Yeah, just some icon and a couple of the nano Eclipse ones. But yeah, it's double stuff Oreo minis. Got a bunch of them, so they will be available if you miss out on other stores. Um, mine will be available. All right, oh, I got my helpers here pushing the big box in. <laughs> All right. This will be more bags. More bags. Alright, what else we got? Oh yeah. Alright, now these. They will be done with this to help shipping. Alright, there's the yellow version of the nucleus. And put some of my order inside. We got shipping. All right, um, looks like here's some misprints I got. Um, Eclipse Glow Ion misprint. Uh, proton Ion, Proton Soft Ion. Um, alias, an alias with a plasma test. Ooh, plasma Tesla. Plasma Tesla stamp on the alias. Um, these are, this is going to be a, just a normal electron atom. Um, we've got an ion with a first run, neutron ion with a first run plasma ion double stamp. And we've got a soft NV misprint. Oh, I like it. We've got a, uh, an Inspire with a Crave stamp, but this icy pearly kind of, I don't know if you can tell, yeah, I think you can tell on the camera. That's pretty sweet. That, oh, it's 155 gram, lightweight. That'll probably be gone by the time you see this video. I'm All the stock stuff I'm going to have listed soon. All the stuff that I'm allowed to list. Um, misprint Clash. Misprint Crave. Misprint Wrath. Okay, that's it for those. Alright. Um, so yeah, there's a yellow version of so. Alright. My daughter's ripping open the, uh, the small starter bag, which is uh, the cell. This is the cell bag. Let's see here. Let's open her up. That's almost identical to the kids' uh, um, uh, cadet bags from Dynamic. Almost identical. Hey, um, <laughs> we're, go put some shorts on. Pardon the interruption. Now I'm going to have to look back at the video and see if my boy's walking around in his underwear on video. Go get one of your cadet bags. Me? Yeah, do you know where yours is? Yeah, I think we'll get it so. because I want to compare the two. All right, this is the small bag, uninsulated drink holder. Definitely will not hold like a 32 ounce Gatorade, but it'll hold a water bottle. It looks like um, the bottom has the flappy uh, kind of hard piece. I don't even know if you can see in here that you have to kind of fold down to make the bottom square but it never stays down at least it doesn't in the cadet bag but for a cheap beginner bag i mean you really can't go wrong mesh pouch on top i thought your guys's discs were in the 
um, garage. Yeah, my bag. So yeah, I mean, a very simple bag. Definitely a thinner material than the nucleus and the um, beaker. I want one of the kids to get one of the cadet bags because it feels similar and it'll definitely, it'll definitely fall over. I mean, that's for sure, I think. I mean, let's pack some of these discs in here and see. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, but it's definitely not rigid at all. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how my kids cadet bags are. They're always falling. So, that's those. Alright, here comes a cadet bag. Let's see. Alright, cadet bag. Alright, material-wise, feels about the same. Um, these are here. Um... Size-wise, looks about the same. Um, front pocket is about the same. Everything's about the same on them. The drink holder is about the same. Strap about the same. So, really, it's uh, very close. You guys, please don't mess around with stuff. So, I would say it's very very close to the uh, DD Cadet bag. Just very lightweight, very cheap. Um, good starter bag. I mean, it's a great bag for my kids. Um, right. Back over here. Go back up here. So yeah, sell. The sell. I think those are going to be like 13 bucks or 15 bucks or something like that. Something close to that. So, I mean, definitely a good bag to start with. Um, another cell, blue color. Alright, we'll jump into these. MVP stool. Comes in a bag and a strap. Let's see, these are a smaller stool, or a shorter, I should say. So they're going to be a little cheaper. I mean, there's the length right there. Um, let's see if uh, it's a 16-inch uh, seat height. So definitely smaller than those, like tripod or a uh, camp time stool, whatever. But there's the stool. They say a uh, weight limit of 265. So that's actually pretty good. Um, yep. Ugh. Oh, pardon my groaning. I ran this morning, so. Alright, let's have a seat and see what. Ugh. Okay. Not bad. Definitely comfortable. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Feels definitely sturdy enough. Um, yeah, definitely a good stool option. And those. The price on them should be pretty good. Uh, I don't know, 16 or 18 bucks instead of paying 30 to 40 for the camp time stools. Um, definitely a good option. Um, oh, this the wrap up strap definitely could be nicer. You gotta hold one end and then pull the other one. Or one end. Yeah. Hold one end, then pull the other over the uh, one. It'd be nice if it was a wrap around, but stool. Right, let me get this back here. So we've got a few stools in for MVP. These come out on the 31st. I, I didn't do any pre-sales this time. Nothing like that. Just because I'm going to be out of town when these actually launch, so I won't be able to ship. So a few stools. Um, and then, ugh, more bags. This one's already sold, the blue one. Um, all right, let's just take this way. Um, let's 
let's see here, what do we got? Um, I can't even remember. Yeah, Blank Adams. I don't remember ordering Blank Adams, but I might have. Who knows? I'll check the order form. Yeah, Blank Adams. I may have. Uh, a couple neutron volts for refresh. Um, and here we go. Here's the new stuff. The new uh, phase. The new phase is uh, 21 and a half millimeter distance class. Um, this is going to be overstable, I believe. Nice disc. Feels comfortable. So, yeah, new phase. Phase. I didn't get many of them. Maybe one of these six or so. And the next one is the orbital, which is going to be the most understable, I believe they said. Um, yep, orbital is understable. Of the distance class there. So we got orbital. Probably six of those. Doesn't look like nothing too special or anything, but um, the blue. This one's already sold. Red. More discs in it. We got in here. Soft anode. Soft anode. Just normal refresh. Soft ion. Soft ion. Nice. I like when I get the blue sparkly ones. Those are cool looking. Um, soft NV. Regular NV. Um, alias. More fission photons, those were starting to get low. Um, inertias, wrath, insanity, and that's about it. And there's the red version of the big bag. And there's a folder, I can't remember what else did I get. Oh, I know what I got. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh, that's right. I uh, wanted uh, some flight charts. So, we got me the new flight charts. So I can have for show people here.